If you have port lights with plastic lenses, then you probably know how annoying it is when the plastic deteriorates a little bit and gets all cloudy. In this video I'm going to show you how to polish the lenses so that they're nice and clear again and you can see outside once more. And as you can see here these lenses are very cloudy and hard to see through. Now it is possible to polish the lenses without taking them out of the frame. But in this video I'm going to go ahead and remove these. I think it's a lot easier if you can take them out and work on them on a bench. Some lenses may be more difficult to take out than others. If that's the case, you can follow these instructions and do it with the lenses in place. So let's go ahead and get started. On these particular port lights, I have a screw on the top hinge on one side and a pin on the other side. So I'll have to knock that pin out and then go ahead and take this screw out. By knocking this pin out, and I want to just gently tap on that. And because this is tapered, I want to make sure that I don't drive it in too deep and then I won't be able to get it back out. There we go. And I can feel the pin starting to get loose. I'm put a vice grip on the end of it and then I can gently tap the vice grips. And there we go, our pin is out. Next, I'm going to have to take the screw out. And this is where another one of my favorite tools comes in handy, the, the little skill driver. All right, that's ready to come out. And we can take that off. And we'll put the screw in a safe place. And there we go. There's our lens, ready to be polished, and you can definitely see how cloudy that is. I got this 3M polishing kit for polishing headlight lenses. Now this comes with the little buffer, pad, compound, everything you need right in it. I've also got some 3M plastic cleaner. Now I really like the 3M products, and 3M plastic cleaner works pretty well. And I got some of this Blue Magic Headlight Restorer Polish. And I've also got some wet and dry sandpaper in 1500 and 2000 grit. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the process we're going to use to polish the lenses is we're going to first sand them with some 500 grit sandpaper. Then we'll go to a finer sandpaper and an even finer wet and dry sandpaper after that. And then we'll use a polishing compound with a foam polishing pad. And this should bring up a pretty good gloss on these port lights and remove all of the damage off of them. The more damaged the lenses are, the, the deeper you'll have to cut into the surface of it. If you just have some light clouding going on, you might be able to get away with starting with the 800 sandpaper and then working your way up. If you've got some deep scratches, you might want to even go with something heavier than 500. Now that's one of the nice things I like about the um, 3M lens polishing kit is it comes with pretty much everything you need in one little kit. You'll get a foam hook and loop buffing pad that's just the right size for doing um, port light lenses. Now I tend to like to use my Makita angle drill and if you can use an angle drill you'll find with the pad chucked in there you'll get better control. More like using a angle grinder and it'll just work better in general. Now I like using a corded tool um, if you're going to attack this project with a battery operated tool, you're going to want to make sure your batteries are well charged when you start because it's just time consuming and you'll use up the battery power pretty quick. Now in the 3M kit, like I say, you'll get the um, polishing disc. You'll get some sandpaper in 500, 800, and 3000 grit. The 3000 grit you'll use as a wet and dry. The 500 and the 800 will be sanding just dry on the plastic. And finally you have the foam buffing pad which you'll attach to your disc and you'll use that for the final polishing. 
Now when you're sanding, particularly with the dry sandpaper, you want to make sure you keep nice even pressure on the lens. You don't want to push down too hard and you don't want to tip the tool up on its edge. You want to keep that disc nice and flat with a little bit of even pressure. You don't want to go too fast with the drill. If it's a variable speed drill, slow it down some. And you don't want to put too much pressure on it or the plastic, the surface of the plastic will actually start to melt a little bit from the friction and then you'll be making things worse. You also want to make sure that you wash with a little bit of soap and water the lens before you start working on it and then just wipe it with a cotton cloth before you start. The reason for this is if you get a small particle, a little grit of sand or anything hard, harder than the plastic, that gets caught in between the sandpaper and the plastic, it can put some deep scratches in there. So you want to make sure that the lens is fairly clean when you get started. With a clean port light and the 500 grit sandpaper, gently sand the surface of the lens. Keep the disc moving at a fairly brisk pace so that you don't sit in one spot too long. Just gently move around as you go, cutting the surface, trying to remove any damage that may be there. Now as you're working on it, it helps to hold it up to the light and look through it and I find it helps to look through from the inside or the clear side so that you're not seeing anything on the surface and the deeper scratches will start to show up there and you can see any areas that you might need to be working on specifically. Once you're satisfied you have all the scratches and surface imperfections out it's time to switch over to a lighter grade paper. In this case, we'll be switching over to the 800. Once again, using light pressure and the pad constantly moving, take your time to make sure that you get all of the scratches left from the 500 paper out. In between sanding, you want to make sure that you rinse the port light off and get all the sanding grit off before you move on to the next stage. Next, I like to do a little hand sanding with the 2000 grit paper. This is a wet sanding process. I like to do this because the linear motion tends to remove some of the swirl marks left by some of the heavier sandpaper. Now we can do some wet sanding with the 3000 disc. Once again, light pressure. You can use a little more speed at this point, but you still want to go very lightly and keep the disc fairly flat on the surface. Like with all the other sanding steps, you want to take your time and make sure that you've removed all the marks from the previous step before moving on. Finally, carefully wipe down the surface of the lens and inspect it for any deep scratches that may have been missed or any swirl marks that are still remaining. With the sanding complete, it's time to start the final polishing. Place a few small dabs of the polishing compound on the lens and then with the foam buffing pad, spread it around a little bit before you begin polishing. Just like with the sanding, you want to use a light even pressure trying to keep the pad flat on the lens. Once again, take your time. Do not rush this final stage. You want to make sure you get all of the swirl marks left from the sanding removed at this point. After buffing for a few minutes, stop to check the lens. You'll need to wipe it off to be able to see the surface. Rock it back and forth in the light a little bit to see if you can see any fine scratches. Also look at it from through the other side. If need be, you can do some more compounding or polishing. 
If you're satisfied with it, you can go ahead and put the lens back in place. Now this isn't too bad of a project. I've done in one day, I've done 10 port lights on the whole boat. So, and I haven't really worked all that hard at it. I've taken a few breaks along the way. And of course I'm doing this videotaping. So that slows me down too. So really it's a relatively easy job that can be done on an easy Saturday. It is definitely well worth it. When you see how good the inside of your boat looks with all your port lights cleaned up and shiny, you'll be amazed and you'll be wondering why you didn't do this project sooner. Well, good luck on your project. I hope this video has helped you out some. And until next time, I'm Captain Wayne, wishing you fair winds and following seas.